Well, welcome to my second how-to as part of the um, Total War series. This works for all of them, by the way. And the question that's been asked to me on um, a couple of occasions now um, is how to name... Well, the, the particular request was how to name ships, but it's basically how to name units. So if I open up this unit here, just by right-clicking on it, it shows me all the details of the ship up there. You can see it's a second-rate ship of the line, and it's called the Hydra. I don't want it to be called the Hydra anymore, so what I do is I click on that box there. I can click there, or I can click there. I can click wherever I like in the word, and I can delete as I normally would do. I choose to go to the right of the word, and I backspace. Just by hitting backspace, I don't know if you can hear that on my keyboard as I hit that, um, then I'm left with just a cursor and no words. So what I'm going to do is name this after an interested um, subscriber. C L O W N F I S H eleven thirty eight, um, and then I simply click OK. So you find that these ships now are named. Well, that one, for instance, is called the Scorpion. This one here is called the um, uh, I don't know what that Phoenix is it or oh, something I can't. And uh, Zafir is that one. Go all the way along to the different ships, and you'll come to the one that I've named, and you can see that it's now called the Clownfish. 1138. It's as simple as that really and it will retain that for as long as you save games with, with that in there. Now this I'm using my um, uh, Polish campaign that I'm running at the moment so um, I'll show you how to do this with uh, an infantry, not an infantry unit, well any kind of unit really, a land unit. It's the same drill really. Um, where is it? I've got one somewhere that has flamethrowers in it. I thought I'd name the one with a flamethrower in it. See if I can remember where it is. I used it, didn't I, to um, to attack some... Oh, I don't know where it was. Some. Uh, did I use it against Britain? See if I used it in there. I'm not too sure now. Uh, I used it somewhere fairly recently. Come on, where are you? I know you're skulking around somewhere. Okay. It doesn't have to be a flamethrower, by the way. You can name anything you like. Uh, I'm not sure where I've left it, so I'm going to go away and find it, and then show you how to do that one as well. <laughs> oh, here it was, over in India all the time. I don't know why I thought Britain, probably because I think of rockets as being a British thing. I know, China and all that, so I don't mean it that way, but... Okay, uh, there's my army. This is one that I used to take Calcutta um, during my Poland-Lithuania campaign. So I just opened that up there, same sort of drill again. You can see it gives me all the statistics of the unit. Simply um, do the same again, hitting your... Uh, backspace button on there on your keyboard after ticking that box there, or rather clicking in that box so your cursor appears, and then I'm going to name this one as well. Okay, so I'm calling that one Flaming Useless because I'm afraid it is. All it is is a load of flames and they're pretty useless. Same sort of thing again, you look over these, you'll see the names of each of these, um, and when you come to this one, you see that one's called the 122nd Regiment of Foot, this one's called the 121st, and this one is called Flaming Useless. Okay, so I hope that explains it. It's another how-to. It's this only the second how-to I've done, really, because I've always thought the how-tos were part of my battle videos, but now I've got so many. It's, it's so hard now to, to say, oh, that I, I think I showed how to do that on video 37 of my United Provinces campaign, but I'm not too sure it'll be somewhere within 27 and 77 of those videos. <laughs> it's just not really good enough, is it? So, anyway, I'll put this on as a how-to for anybody that's interested. Thanks for asking, anyway.